all right in our last um part of this uh series for the walking uh the walking dinosaur animation here is it's just i were where i um set up the the walk cycle to follow not necessarily a path but a linear line and basically this is how you would set up just for him to walk in regular animation so for, for instance for like say you put him in a film you put him in a film or whatnot and he walks forward this is one way to put to make him do that just it essentially it's just for a test uh, but it, it serves many different purposes but for this purpose it's just as a test all right if you were to do it for games um, you would already uh, export the animation out and it would go straight to whatever controller you have for instance um, in unity you have your character controller and then you have um, the animation so you just apply it you put it within the animation controller and the animation would move as you move the key the keystrokes or whatnot um, but with this um, I just set the uh, timeline um, or the graph editor I just set it to linear basically and that would just give me like a straight motion as it as it moves that's all that's all that's all it really is make sure to um, after you set it up and everything you have your plane on the ground make sure to have the um, interpolation of the graph or not the graph the uh, keys or the the curves that they're set to infinite because we haven't baked out our animation or nothing like that we're just testing it out so I set everything to infinity which basically it duplicates um, or not, not necessarily duplicates but it is it theoretically duplicates the animation forever of course because it's infinity so that looping animation cycle goes on especially on your timeline so I gotta do is set that and then we can test our, our animation so at the end of this video you'll see how the animation just goes forward or the the controller the main rig controller just goes forward and the animation of the body the mechanics just goes on forever now on a side note um, what's important is that you set that infinity um, for the graph editor uh, you would set the uh, character set the character set is what's going on forever okay it's it's not too hard all you gotta do is go to the graph editor make sure the character set is selected of course and then set it to infinity really
So throughout most of this um, video, uh, between the beginning and the end, you're just gonna see me trying to figure out a good uh, placement for this tangent. Uh, it's not necessarily hard, but you gotta find somewhere where it's fast enough for the the uh, feet the feet placement. The feet are placed correctly, and it walks along. Uh, the floor so it just doesn't slide or anything like that if I could put it like that so it it takes a minute I guess I, I was kind of like I guess I was doing like when I was recording this video um I was doing like I was doing something at the same time like I was I was watching something and doing this so I wasn't really like paying attention but yeah it, it took me a couple minutes to actually figure it out but I did eventually but I did I will in this video, I will eventually get to a a good, decent um, position for the tangent to work. Well, so as we end uh, this tutorial, I um, just want to say thank you for watching. And of course, we're going to have more. Um, this is more of like an advanced tutorial on uh, body mechanics, okay? On especially for a dinosaur. And of course, so just to reiterate, um, you can apply this animation to humanoids, to quadrupeds, anything of that nature. Just apply the same techniques. But this is more for, of course, a dinosaur. Um, if you guys had a dinosaur, that's awesome. But this is, you can definitely apply these techniques to any any animation, any character animation, basically. That about wraps up our tutorial, or workflow. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but just to go over what we did, basically, we went over some tips and techniques and went off topic about things of otherworldly things but I just hope that you guys learn from my experience this tutorial or this workflow and anything of that nature and please please just ask any questions that you guys might have I um, will definitely answer to the best of my ability um, and if you do request please I mean if you guys will request ask <coughs> request any um, type of tutorial or anything that that you felt that went 
uh, went really fast on this on this uh, video or on these videos, then I would definitely make a video on it. Um, especially like uh, I'm looking to start doing YouTube and everything, and I really have to get back into it. Um, I used to do it like a, a while ago, but um, I want to get into it and build like a subscriber base, of course, and just see where it takes me. So if I can have at least like a concurrent uh concurrent people to come back and watch these tutorials i'm gonna definitely come back and i'm gonna i mean sorry i'm gonna definitely come and make some really really good advanced tutorials especially like body mechanics or just you know a lot of a lot of different things i could even make lip sync tutorials or videos workflows all the different types of stuff i'd like to think of this like of a probably like a workshop you see like the whole entire my my workflow technique or whatnot on advanced animations body mechanics whoa body mechanics and things of, things of that nature so hope you guys enjoyed uh please tune in subscribe like thumbs up no or not looking forward to making another video see you guys later